Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 5 to the power n minus 3 to the power n is equal to 16. We need to find all possible values of n, where n is a positive integer. So, let's start. This 5 to the power n can be written as 5 to the power n whole to the power 1 minus this 3 to the power n can be written as 3 to the power n whole to the power 1 is equal to 16. Now 1 is equal to 1 over 2 times 2. So we replace this one and this one with this 1 over 2 times 2 like this. 5 to the power n whole to the power we replace this one with 1 over 2 times 2 minus 3 to the power n whole to the power we replace this one with 1 over 2 times 2 is equal to 16. Now by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power n by this power 1 over 2 and we multiply this power n by this power 1 over 2. Like this 5 to the power n times 1 over 2 n over 2 whole to the power this power 2 minus 3 to the power n times 1 over 2 n over 2 whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 16. Now we suppose that let 5 to the power n over 2 is equal to a and 3 to the power n over 2 is equal to b and we substitute a and b in this equation then this equation becomes a squared minus b squared is equal to 16. Now this a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b is equal to 16. Now we have two factors at left side and this 16 can be factorized as 1 times 16, 16 times 1, 2 times 8, 8 times 2, 4 times 4 and because n is a positive integer. So a and b, a and b are also positive integers. It means a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0. And if a and b are greater than 0, then this expression a plus b will be greater than a minus b. So this 1 times 16 will be rejected. This 2 times 8 will be rejected and this 4 times 4 will be rejected. And we have left only two cases. Case 1 is 16 times 1 and case 2 is 8 times 2. First we solve case 1. In this case we write this expression a plus b times a minus b equal to this 16 times 1, 16 times 1. Now we write this greater expression a plus b equal to this greater factor 16 and we write this smaller expression a minus b equal to this smaller factor 1 like this a plus b is equal to 16 and a minus b 
is equal to 1. Now we add these two equations a plus b is equal to 16 and a minus b equal to 1 and we add these two equations this 1a plus 1a 2a and this positive b will be cancelled out with this negative b is equal to 16 plus 1 17 this implies that a is equal to 17 over 2 now because a and b are positive integers so this case will be rejected because this number 17 over 2 is not a integer now we solve this case to 8 times 2 in case 2 we write this expression a plus b times a minus b equal to this 8 times 2 8 times 2 now we write this uh, greater factor a plus b equal to this greater factor h and this uh, smaller factor a minus b equal to this uh, smaller factor 2 like this a plus b is equal to 8 and a minus b equal to 2 and we add these two equations a plus b is equal to 8 and we add this equation a minus b equal to 2 now this one a plus this one a 2 a and this positive b will be cancelled out with this negative b and 8 plus 2 is 10 if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that a is equal to 5 and in this equation we put the value of a 5 to find the value of b a plus b is equal to 8 in this equation we put the value of a 5 5 plus b is equal to 8 and we subtract 5 from both sides and this 5 will be cancelled out with this negative 5 and b is equal to 8 minus 5 3 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 5 to the power n over 2 is equal to a and 3 to the power n over 2 is equal to b we have supposed that 5 to the power n over 2 is equal to a and 3 to the power n over 2 is equal to b first in this equation we put the value of a 5 so this equation becomes 5 to the power n over 2 is equal to value of a is 5 and this 5 has power 1 here and because base is same at both sides so we can write this n over 2 equal to this 1 n over 2 is equal to 1 now in this equation we put the value of b 3 then this equation becomes 3 to the power n over 2 equal to value of b is 3 and this 3 has power 1 here because the base is same at both sides we can write this exponent n over 2 equal to this exponent 1 like this n over 2 is equal to 1 and from both of these equations n is equal to 2 this is the final answer of this equation now let's verify this value of n by putting this value in the original equation the original equation is 5 to the power n 
minus 3 to the power n is equal to 16. In this equation, we put the value of n 2 like this 5 to the power 2 minus 3 to the power 2 is equal to 16 and 5 squared is 25 minus 3 squared is 9 is equal to 16 and 25 minus 9 16 is equal to 16 you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side so it is proved that the value of n2 is a valid solution